Hello everyone, welcome to LRDI Prep. My name is Samir Sardana and in this video I am going to cover a beautiful set of CAT 2020 slot 3. It's a high low game set, an excellent logical reasoning set on games and tournament. Must do for every CAT aspirant. Guys, uh, to attend my live classes, use my referral code LRDS Lead Live. This will give you a 10% off on plus subscription. Let's have a look at it. And if you like the video, please like it, comment on it, and share it with all of your friends. Let's read the direction. It says the high low game is a four player game played in six rounds. In every round, each player chooses to bid high or low. The bids are made simultaneously. If all four bids high, then all four loses one point each. So, note down this information. If four players are playing this game and all of them are bidding high, all of them are bidding high. Player number one, player number two, player number three, and player number four. All of them are bidding for high. Each of them will be losing one point. Each of them will be losing one point. If three players bid high and one bid slow, then the player bidding high again, high gain one point each and the player bidding low loses three point. So if three of them, if three of them are, are bidding for high and one is bidding for low, one bids for low, then the player bids high gain one point. That means plus one point will be given to the players who are bidding for high and minus three will be given to the person who will be bidding for low. If two players bid high and two bids low, then the players bidding high gains two point and each two point each and the player bidding low loses two point each. Now the third is, the third way of doing the bidding is that if two of them are bidding for high and two of them are bidding for low, bidding high will be given two point each and bidding low will be given minus two point each. If one player bids high and three bids low, if one player bids high and three bids for low, then the player bidding high gain three point and the player bidding low loses one point. If all the four bids low, then all four gain one point. If all of them are bidding for low, then all of them will be given one point each. So that's that's the way of bidding, right? This is a pattern of bidding, and these are the points of will that, that, that will be awarded to the players depending upon how in which pattern they are bidding, right? So one, two, three, four, the five pattern, right? And these are the combination in which the, the, the points will be assigned. Now we have four players: Arun, Bankim, Charu, and Deepak played the high-low game. The following facts are known about their game: the total number of rounds that they're playing. Uh, all right, right. Now see that. So total number of rounds that they're playing is six rounds, right? So what I need to do is I need to just make a small table. I need to find out the pattern of the bidding uh, in each of these rounds. So total number of rounds are six and in every round we have four players. So just make a basic table here, right? This is something that you need to take an idea. Once you're done the introduction part of the set, this table should definitely strike you that this is a basic table that you have to make and finally fill it. Now let's use the information one by one. It says that at the end of three rounds, Arun scored six points, Deepak scored two points, Bankin and Charu had scored minus two point each. Arun six, Deepak scored two. Now Arun at the end of three rounds, the total points of Arun at the end of three rounds is six and for Deepak it is two. And for Banki Mancharu, it is minus two each, right? So that's the score. That means the score of A of round one, round two, round three is six. Score of B plus round one plus round two plus round three is minus two. Same for C. Round one, round two, round three is minus two. Same is for D also. Now, at the end of the sixth round, Arun had scored seven point. Banki and Deepak scored minus one, and Charu had scored minus five point. So at the end of the seven round, uh, at the end of six round, Arun had scored seven points. So at the end of six, Arun should be having a total of seven. Charu should be having a total of five. And B and D, 
Bunky Van Dikum has scored minus 1.8. each. This is the final score after the sixth round. Now, how do I need to solve the set? You need to make a combination because I know that the points that I'm awarding to these players as per these biddings are fixed. The combination is fixed. You cannot change this combination. Now, look at here. Look, observe this that if B is supposed to award it minus two points, that means the summation of these three values should be minus two. Summation of these three values should also be minus two with a fixed pattern of points. Now tell me how many combination you can make so that summation of three values comes out to be minus two for two times for B as well as for C. And, and you need to change, you need to use only these points, right? See that one combination is if I want the summation of three values, round one, round two, round three to be equal to minus two, and I need two such identical combination or two different combination will also work. See that guys, one combination is that uh, if I pick points from these, right, if I'm awarding minus two point here, B, let's say minus one, C is one. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure whether A is a score of round one or round two or round three at this point of time, will not be able to tell. I'm just making a combination so that the summation of three values should come out to be equal to minus two. So this is a one possible combination. Let's see that. Is it possible? Right. Minus two point is there. Yes. Minus one is also there. Minus two, minus one and plus one. That is minus two. That's good. But because I need to score this point for two number of time, I also need one more combination. A one more combination can easily be made with the same combination because minus two time is appearing for two times here. Minus two is available for two times here. So I have minus two here as well as minus two here. Do I have minus one into uh, for two, two bidding in one single round? Yes, minus one is also available for two times. Do I have one available for two times? Yes. So two players who are scoring minus two can be awarded these points. But do we have any other combination of having a minus two? Yes, the combination can be. What if I make a combination of minus three plus one? Minus three plus one will be minus two. Then I'll not be able to make it any combination with minus three. Uh, what I can do is I can go for a combination of minus three plus two and minus one. Okay. So if I go for minus three plus two and minus one, do I have minus three? Yes, I have minus three. Do I have plus two in some different round? Uh, yes, plus two is available. Do I have minus one? Yes, minus one is also available. So minus three plus two minus one will also give you minus two. Okay. But then you see that if I'm giving minus three in a particular round, I cannot give plus one two times, right? So with this particular combination, can I also make minus two for one more time? That would be difficult. That, would, that is not possible because once I have taken this bidding as in one of the round, I'll not be able, I'll not be able to have, I'll not be able to score minus two for two times. You'll need to see here that I need to score minus two for two players, right? So there is no combination that will exist with minus three plus two minus one that I'll be able to make for two players. There's no two bidding pattern which can give me minus two for two times. This can be used once only, right? So, uh, because if, if I'm using minus three in one of, as one of the pattern of the bidding, then I am out of the case of plus one, right? I, I need to use plus one here in one of the process here, right? Also, minus two and minus one is also supposed to be used. Now for minus one, I can use this, I can use this, right? Minus one is also there, minus one is also there. And for plus one, I need to use this. There's the only way, there's the only way other than minus three to use plus one. So I'll not be, if I'm using, I'm saying that, if I'm saying that one of the player is scoring minus two with this pattern, then I'll not be able to give minus to the another player. So the combination for minus two that need to be exist would be this only. Either it would be minus two minus one plus one or minus two minus one plus one, right? And these are the scores of B and C. Now I know that B and C are definitely scoring minus two, minus one and plus one. But what score in which, which, which score in which round? We do not know that at this point of time. This will give me a combination of minus two. But then if I use this information here, that uh, look at this, Deepak's score in the third round was less than his score in the first round. This is talking about Deepak's score. Now, now you also need to make sure 
that if I am giving, if I am giving a score of minus 2, minus 1, plus 1 in any combination to B as well as C, those combinations should also be able to give me 2 for D and those bidding patterns should also be able to give me 6 for A. Now, how can, how can you get 6 for A? You see that a score of 6 can only be obtained in 3 rounds with a combination of plus 3, plus 2 and plus 1 as the only way to get 6, right? So, in minus 2, if I am using minus 2 in one of the case, then you see that with minus 2, I can take a case of plus 2, right? And if I am using minus 1 in one of the case, then you can see that in minus 1, okay, minus 1 will also give me a case of plus 3, right? Okay. And then plus 1 can also give me a case of plus 1, right? Right. So, I need to make the combination in such a way so that I also need to get a score of 3 plus 2 plus 1, 4A in, in these 3 rounds. Only then we will be able to make a score of 6. But uh, what, what is the, how, how will you get 2 for D? How will you get 2 for D? If I want to get 2 for D in 3 combination, you see that the possibility is that uh, a 2 can be obtained with 2 minus 1 and plus 1, right? 2 minus 1 plus 1. You see that I have plus 2 here, I have minus 1 here and I have plus 1 here. So this combination can also be made, right? 2 minus 1 and plus 1. So the score of D can be, score of D which is 2 can be obtained with the combination of 2 minus 1 plus 1. That is the only possible way for D. Now, if I want, if, if I use this information now that Deepak's score in the third round was less than his score in the first round. Deepak's score in the third round was less than his score in the first round. Deepak is scoring these three and Deepak's score in third round was less than, was less than his score in the first round and, but was more than his score in the second round. Deepak third round score is more than second round but less than the first round. That means, that means, now let's use it. Deepak's score in the third round was less than the score in the first round and more than the score in the second round. So if I want this combination with the values of 2, minus 1 and 1, the only combination would be third round mein usko 1 milna chahiye, which will be less than 2 and it will be greater than minus 1, right? So first may 2, third may 1, second may minus 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 2, minus 1 and 1. That is the only combination for D to have a total score of 2. Now with this particular case, once I know that the, the score of D in these 3 rounds will be given in this pattern, I can decide the bidding process. Because if this person is getting plus 2 here, then let's see that with this score of 2, what is, what is the value out of minus 2, minus 1, 1 can come for C here. Look at here. D is getting 2 in the first round. Now, D is getting plus 2 in the first round. Plus 2 is coming only in this case. And in this case of plus 2, these are the other 3 bidding. So, tell me which combination. Now, if plus 2 is there for D, then this plus 2 must be here for A. Yes or no? Right. So, I need to have plus 2 here for A. And then minus 2, minus 2 will be for C. Now, if these are minus 2, this is plus 2 and I have minus 1 and plus 1 here. Now, I need to give 3 also to A. With minus 1, I can take a case of plus 3 because plus 3 is not coming anywhere else. So, I need to give plus 3, plus 3 in the second round. If I am using plus 3 in the second round for A, then you see that other 3 combination should be minus 1. So, this has to be minus 1, this has to be minus 1. Now, to make it a score of 6, this has to be plus 1. This minus 2, minus 1, this has to be plus 1. Minus 2, minus 1, this has to be plus 1. 2, minus 1, plus 1. Okay, we already know that. This is 2, minus 1 and plus 1. Now, I can write down the bidding process. Plus 2, minus 2, minus 2, plus 2. Okay. Let's use it here now. Plus 2, minus 2, minus 2, plus 2. Okay. Plus 2, minus 2. So, this is the process, right? High, uh, pl for plus 2, I need to use a bit of high. For minus 2, it is low. Right. Right. For plus 2, it is high. Right. This would be low. This would be low. Right. Let's write down the points in the bracket. And this would be high. 
So I get to know this would be the pattern of the bidding in the round one. Let's look at round two plus three minus one minus one minus one. The combination for plus three minus one is high, low, 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 right? So it is high, low, low, and low, right? Then I have plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, right? This is plus one each, each is low for all, right? So this has to be low. This is also low. This bidding is also low. This bidding is also low. Round four now. Now you see that I want to take the score of A from six to seven. That means I need to add a score of one finally here. From minus two to minus one, I also need to add a score of one here. Minus two to five, I need a score of, I need to add a score of three. 2 to minus 1, I need to add a score of, I need to subtract the score of 3. 2 minus 3 will finally be minus 1, right? So now, now there's one information that we have not used yet and that is, in exactly 2 out of the 6 round, Arun was the only player who beat high. So out of the 6 round, there are 2 such round, there are 2 such round in which Arun is the only player who beat high. Now if Arun is the only player who beat high, that means rest of them will be scoring, well, rest of them will be bidding for low. Now, if that is the case, high and three low, Arun will be getting three point and rest of them will be getting one point. So, can I say that? If I observe these three round, in round one, two person are scoring high. In round two, Arun is the only person scoring high. So, now can I say that from round four to round six, there must be one more round where Arun is the only person who is scoring high. Just in a case, let's, let's say that in one of the round, I don't know which round is that one. It can be round four, round five, or round six. But let's say that one of the round out of four is, uh, is that where Arun is scoring high. So Arun will be getting three point and rest of them will be getting low, right? Why I'm taking it as four? Round, why not five? Yes, you can take it fifth. I don't think that it will be relevant uh, to answer the question whether you take it round five or round six. We just need to see that there will exist one more round where Arun is the only person who is bidding high and rest of them are bidding low. Now you see that this will give me an idea that if six plus three is nine, then I, know to, I need to bring it down to 7, then in these two cases, it has to be minus 2 then, right? 6, round, six, has, 6 is the score of Arun at the end of round 3. And in one of the round, Arun is definitely scoring plus 3. So in the rest of these two rounds, it has to be minus 2, right? Now Arun, you see that here, B is getting minus 2. Minus 2 and minus 1 is minus 3. And I need to bring it down to minus 1. So can I say that this will be a plus 1 score and this would be a plus 1 score? Only then it will be brought down to minus 1. Then you have minus 2 here and minus 1 here. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. I need to brought it down to, I need to brought it up to 5. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. And if I want minus 3 to go to 5, I need a score of Minus 2, minus 1 is minus 3. I need a score of plus 8. I need to add the score of 8 here. Do I have a combination where I can add 8? Let's see. Sorry, uh, here we have missed. We have missed an information. Charu had score minus 5 point, not plus 5, right? It's minus 5. It's minus 5. So minus 3 is already there. I want to make it minus 5. So it will be minus 1 here, minus 1. This score is 2, 2 minus 1 is plus 1, plus 1 to minus 1. Now, if I want this score to brought it down to plus 1 score, brought it down to minus 1, then I need to, then I need to subtract minus 1 for 2 times, right? Then this will be finally minus 1. Now you can easily see the bidding pattern of this. Minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, minus 1. Which pattern is this? Minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 and plus 1. All right. So let's let's have a look at it again. What I need is just one minute. I need minus one in one round and uh, three in three rounds. I need minus one and in one round I need plus one. Okay. 
Now see that this is not possible, right? This is not possible. Minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, minus 1 does not exist. You can see here, right? In none of the pattern, I have minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, plus 1. So what I need to do is, with a score of minus 3 here, I, if I want finally to brought it down to minus 3, then I need to change it to 3 then, right? Minus 2, minus 1 would be minus 3, minus 3 plus 3 will become 0. And finally, I need to give a score of minus 1 here. Can this exist? Minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 and plus 3. Do I have a score? Yes, 3 times minus 1 and plus times 3. Yes, this will exist for sure, right? So here, this person will be scoring for high, uh, bidding for high. This person will be scoring for low and low, right? Okay. That's, that's one combination. And then you see that. And uh, if I look at... All right, so we are done with this. Let's look at the table now. Do I have a pattern where I can get minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one for all? Yes, if all of them, if all of them are bidding minus one in each, minus one to each of these would be given if all of them are bidding for high. So this would be high. This will be bidding for high, bidding for high and bidding for high. So this is how the complete pattern will be made. Yes. And now I know that in each of the round, which person is bidding for which, uh, whether high or low, right? So it's basically the combination that you have to make with the numbers that are given here, right? Look at the question number one. What were the bids by Arun, A, B, C, and D respectively in the first round? You can see that in the first round, in the first round, all of them are bidding for high, low, low, high. All right. High, low, low, high. That is option number three. Option three would be the correct answer to the question. If you look at the question number two, in how many rounds did Arun bid high? In how many rounds Arun bid high? It is one, two, three, and four. In the four rounds, Arun bid high. So the answer to the question will be four. This was a theta question. No options given to you. Look at the next question. In how many rounds did Bankim bid low? Bankim is bidding low for how many rounds? Low, low, low. Three, four. In four rounds, Bankim is bidding for low. So the answer to the question would be again four. Theta question again. In how many rounds did all four players make identical bids? In how many rounds all four players bid identical bids? And that you can see here all of them are using the bidding high and then here all of them are bidding for low. So there's a one round where all of them are bidding for high, one round where all of them are bidding for low. So there are two rounds where all the four players are bidding, bidding for same, uh, the bidding pattern is same. In how many rounds did Deepak deep gain? Did Deepak gain exactly one point? Gain one point. Now you can see that Deepak is gaining one point in this round. So there's only one round where Deepak is gaining one point. In rest of the round, Deepak is losing one or gaining two. One round, one point is gained by Deepak only in one round. So the answer to this question would be one. And last question, in which of the following round was Arun definitely the only player to bid high? In which of the following round was Arun definitely the only player to bid high? Arun is definitely the only player to bid high. Then you can see that here. Uh, we can see that round, we do not know that in which of these round, right, the, what is the bidding pattern, right? Uh, high, low, low, low can also be in round 5, right? So these three cases can be in any of these three rounds. We do not know where in exactly in which round it is happening. But we only know that what would be the pattern of, what would be the pattern of this bidding, right? We do not know whether this is happening here or this is happening over here, right? But we are definitely sure that in round two, round two, bidding process would be high, low, low, low. So in round two, Arun is the only person bidding for high. So I can straight away say that in second round, Arun is the only person, right? For fourth, fifth and sixth round, we do not know what is the bidding pattern. We, we only know the bidding pattern, but we, we do not know. Which, which particular bidding is specifically for round 4, round 5 and round 6. But we exactly know the pattern in the first 3 rounds. So in the second round, Arun is the only person bidding for high. That's it guys. So 6 questions were asked from this set. The set I, I personally feel was not difficult at all. It was easy to uh, cover. 
uh, not a kind of set which requires a specific theory or knowledge. It's just the interpretation of the statements here. If you com confidently use these points, right, you can definitely solve the set. It's purely a quantitative reasoning set. Guys, this is my raffle code for the plus subscription. If you like this video, please rate it and share it. Uh, this is my YouTube channel where you can get to your syllabus 100% cover. This is a Telegram group where you can get access to all of my videos and special classes that I have taken earlier. I'm going to start a revision course of arithmetic with 500 must do arithmetic questions on Unacademy Plus. And I'm going to start this course on 30th of June, 2021. Timing of the course would be 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. This is a must attend course. This will help you in revising all the arithmetic comprehensively. And, and to attend this course on Unacademy Plus, use my code LRDSME Live to get 10% off. Also, I'm running a series of 250 must do DIR sets before CAT. I'm going to cover 250 sets in 250 episodes. Every day I'm taking one episode at 4 p.m. Already 80 episodes of this series has been taken. 80 set, 80 excellent sets have already been taken. All the links are available in the compiled format in one of my telegram group. The link of the telegram group is given in the description part of the video. You can watch all the episodes, previous episodes also and all the upcoming episodes also. The bumper offer going on for CAT 2021 students. If you go for a six month subscription, get extra one month subscription on the uh, uh, for CAT and MEDS at SNAP and IFT exam preparation. Use my referral code LRSME live to get 10% off. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next part. Thanks a lot.